Hello, welcome back for some more Super Mega Baseball 4. Today we have game 36 with the Neon on the road again. 23 and 12 record, taking on the spots who are 19 and 17. Musty Escargo is going to be on the mound for the Neon today with a 4 2 record with a 3 2 9 ERA, taking on Jester Mendez of the spots who is 5 and 2 with a 166 ERA, which I think 166 is one of the league leaders right now. But Jester Mendez is also injured just slightly, so that could come into play. Uh, the ne currently, the Neon are tied for first in their division, and the Spots are in first division in their division as well, all by themselves. So this could have playoff implications for both teams, since we're getting down to the near end of the season. And let's see, Phillips needs to come taken out of the lineup, and Roach is going to come back in. Uh, I want to bring Shipwreck in, but Dapper is just playing so much better than she is, unfortunately. So we're going to keep Dapper in. Reed is okay. Arnold needs to come out. Hogwash come back in. Ricci offside. Well, she's not that great of a player, really. So Ribeye, unfortunately, is going to come back in. Because we just really don't have much better. Even though I could... Well, let's see. I could put Overly in because he's a better player. But he's not great at second. But Overly can play, what, first base, which Barajas is at first, and he's not going to get replaced there. So I guess Overly is going to come off the bench if we need him. Yep. All right, this will do. Let's get to the game. So no more out bonuses or negatives or anything on the Neon side. And over in the spots, their leadoff hitter's got negative morale, so does their shortstop down in eighth position. And their fifth spot's got bonus. But as I said, the starting pitcher is a little injured right now. So, maybe now I can get some to him quick and early here. Since he's not 100%. Here we go. Barajas, Roach, and Dapper going to be leading off for the Neon. Barajas steps up to the plate. 336 average, 4 homers, 12 RBIs. As I said last game, he's in a bit of a slump. And he swings at the first pitch, fouls it off to the left, out of play. And we'll pop this one up. Shortstop's going to have it, though. There's out number one. That'll bring Spencer Roach to the plate, batting 288 with the one homer and 13 RBIs. Takes a high strike. Pops us up behind the plate. This should be in play. Yeah, it will be. So there's an easy out number two. And here's Dapper, who won the game last game with a three-run double. Made 393, three homers of 17 RBIs. He'll take a strike for the first pitch. It's just one deep to left, but that'll be caught as well. And there it is, glove for out number three. So easy inning for the Neon. They go down in order. Here come the spots. Yves Richards batting first, batting 272, two homers, seven RBIs. First pitch from Escargo, taken for a ball. This one's grounded to second. Ribeye lays out and grabs it, picks up, goes to first. Good play for Ribeye there. Here's Edgar Kerr batting 214, no homers, 20 RBIs. And he hits one to left, try for his first home run, but it'll be short. It'll be caught on the warning track. Dapper gloves that one. And here's Piston Gill batting 230, four homers, 12 RBIs. He'll take low for a strike. Foul to the left out of play, 0-2. Fastball just missed the high corner. That was fouled off. Another foul. Making him work. Foul to the right. Another foul. In the dirt and he chased it. Grounder to second. Rip out to first. There's out number three. So he made Escargo work a little bit there, 
but you got the out, so nothing doing for them. Top of the second coming up, still tied at zero. And here's Sloan, batting 400 with three homers and 17 RBIs. Swung and missed, strike one. Inside for a ball. Ball two inside. Ball three way outside. Swung early and over the top of that one. Full count. Gets this one deep to center. This one's got a chance. And this one's out of here. Sloan with this fourth homer of the year. Dead center field almost. 391 feet. And he gets the neon on the board. There's Everett Reed batting 314 with eight homers at 21 RBIs. He's the team home run leader. Now this one back. And this should be an in for a single. Oh, sliding catch. Nice play. Out number one here, Snack Hogwash. Hard grounder to the right out of play. Weak grounder to second. Throw to first. There's out number two. Here's Ricky Ricci batting 284 with the homer and 16 RBIs. Takes low for a ball. Swung early, fouled it way left. Swung over that one and missed it. Pop up to short. Fielder's there. There's out number three. So one hit, one run. Home run to center from Sloan. But the Neon have the lead now. one nothing going to the bottom of the second. Here's Jackson Cisneros. Batting 256. No homers. Eight RBIs. First pitch is grounded to Ribach. Second. He'll throw it first. There's out number one on one pitch. And Tyke Gallagher steps up to the plate. Batting 279. Five homers, 23 RBIs. We'll take high and in for a ball. Outside corner, high. Strike one. Misses low. Fouled off. Two and two. Swung at him, missed. Strike three. Two away. Keegan Merritt comes up late back, 218. Four homers, 22 RBIs. Seems they got a lot of players in the 20 RBI range. Swings to the first pitch and misses it. Strike one. Fouls the second one off. Quickly in the hole. Just missed the corner. Swung out and missed outside. Strike three. And the spots go down in order. So the top of the third coming up. Neon still lead. one nothing. And here's Ribeye batting 220. Four homers and 14 RBIs. He's been in the slump for pretty much the whole season. And late on that one. Grounded to the left, the third. Over to first in time. Here's out number one. Here's the pitcher. He's batting 105. No homers, one RBI. Grounder to second. Over to first. There's out number two. So back to the top of the order. Here's the Rajas batting over for one so far in the game. Down low for a ball. Swung early at that one. Fouled to the right. Looper to right. This may drop and will. There's a single. So a two out single from Brahas. Spencer Roach steps in 0 for 1. Fouls this one back behind the plate. Takes low for a ball. High for a strike. Ball two up high. Swung out and missed. Strike three. Which goes down swinging. 
They get a hit, no runs. Neon still leave one nothing going to the bottom of the third. There's Cheyenne Suarez, but 181. One homer, seven RBIs. Takes a fastball low for a strike. It's outside. Pops the changeup. Pitcher's there. He gloves it. There's out number one. There's Hattie Yang. Batting 188, two homers and 16 RBIs. Curve in there for a strike. Foul backwards. Strike two. Another foul. That was a little high. And it was a little outside. Swung in at miss. Strike three. Two away. With the pitcher, Jester Mendez, batting 250. No homers, no RBIs. Swung out of the first pitch, missed it. Strike one. Pops this one up. Everybody's running out to get it. And he'll wave off Reed. Everybody takes control. Here's out number three. So three up, three down for the spots. Top of the fourth coming up. Neon still lead one nothing. And Sound Depper steps back up to the plate. 0 for 1. Pops this one up. Who's going to take this one? Looks like the center fielder's taking control. He'll glove it. One away. Here's Sloan. He's 1 for 1. He counts for all the scoring and all the hit. Well, not all the hits. First hit for the Neon. And he fouls this one off. Grounder to second, over to first, in time, out number two. And Reed steps in, 0 for 1 on the day. Swung at and missed, he swung under it. Pops this one up to the left side. Shortstop's going to call for this one. And there's another easy out, out number three. So no hits, no runs, but the Neon still lead 1 0. Bottom of fourth coming up, and top of the order for the spots are back up. There's Richards, he's 0 for 1. Swings at the first pitch. Third baseman dives, stops it from getting to the outfield, but not in time to throw him out. So that'll be an infield single. There's Edgar Carr, he's 0 for 1. Pops the first pitch up to center field. Sloan is there. He gloves it. Runner retreats back to first. And there's Piston Gill. He's 0 for 1. He takes the first pitch high for a strike. Curveball low. Trying to steal. Hit and run play. Over to second, in time, over to first, low throw, but gloved it out of the dirt for a double play. Nice defensive play. It was close on both ends. So they got a hit, but that's the race with the double play. The spot's still loose right now, one to nothing. Snack Hogwash stepping in, 0 for 1. He fouls first pitch off. Swung out and missed. Late swing on that one. Outside for a ball. A little blooper to second. And second baseman's got it. Run away. Here's Ricky Ricci. He's 0 for 1. Hard grounder to pitcher. He gloves it. Over to first. There's another out. Not a lot of hard contact being made so far by either team. Here's Ribeye, he's 0 for 1. Fouled off to the left. And again, fouled off to the left. Popped up to the right this time. Second baseman's going out, and he'll glove it. Out number 3. Neon having problems getting into the outfield, really. But they still leave one nothing. Going to the bottom of the 5th. Here's Jackson Cisneros, he's 0 for 1. Jackson Cisneros. 
Change ups in there for a strike. Curveball low. Slider catches the corner. Strike two. Just missed the outside corner with the fastball. Chase the changeup. Strike three. One away. Now bring their right fielder to the plate. He's 0 for 1. And he takes the fastball for a strike. Weak grounder with the curve. Barajas gloves it over to first. Pitcher covering. Gloves it for the out. Two down. There's Keegan Merritt. He's 0 for 1 as well. Takes the first pitch for a strike. Fastball missed inside. Changeup gets smoked in left center. This will reach the wall. And this will be a double. So a two out hit. Runner at second. Two outs. And this Suarez, she's 0 for 1. Weak grounder to second. Ribeye throws to first. There's out number three to end the inning. So he'd get a hit, but they leave him on th third base. Since he ran to third. Technically leaves on second. You know what I mean. Top of the six coming up. Neon still beat by one. It's only two hits on each side so far. There's Escargo. 0 for 1. Chased a bad pitch there. Strike one. Chase that one outside. Strike two. Down the middle. He smokes it to the right. Now we get down for a single. So the pitcher's aboard. No man out. Back to the top of the order. It's Barajas who singled his last time. It's this one deep to left, but this will be caught. And Escargo retreats back to first. Spencer Roach comes up. He's 0 for 2. Escargo gets picked off. Bad throw. He's going to be safe back at first. He's safe. He's lucked out. He's almost picked off. They're going to try it again. Now he takes off again. Throw in, but not in time. He's still second. So Roach has a chance to drive a run in. Hard grounder up the middle. That'll get through. But it will not score the run. Just not deep enough. So runners at the corners. One out. Here's Sound Dapper. He's 0 for 2. Fouls first pitch off. Fouls second one off. Quickly in the hole. A pie for a ball. Outside, ball two. Weak grounder to the first base. Throw to second. Out at second. Safe at first for the run of score. Fielder's choice. But the Neon lead now 2 to nothing. That'll bring Sloan back up to the plate. First pitch to him is outside. Inside for a ball two. Hard grounder to second. That'll be an easy out over to first. There's out number three. But the Neon pick up another run. They now lead 2 nothing. Bottom of the sixth. Nothing but small ball so far, except for the homer. Here's Hattie Yang. She's 0 for 1. She'll take a curve down low for a strike. Change-ups high. This one's smoked to left. But Dapper's there. Just short of the warning track. Out number one. Pitcher's up. 0 for 1. And they're going to yank him out of the game. Abram Stevenson's going to come in to pitch it. Batting 333 with one homer. He takes low for a strike. And he'll take another strike down low. Swing at and miss the changeup, though. 
Strike three, down on three pitches. Back to the top of the order. Their third baseman steps in. He's one for two. They'll take a strike on the inside. This one's hit the center. Sloan got a nice jump. He's there. There's out number three. So Stevenson comes in to pinch hit, did nothing. So Rome Romeo Woolmate's going to come in to pitch now. Or Romeo. I don't know how they're going to pounce it. 462 ERA. I guess we have to listen to it. Is it Romeo or Romeo? Nope, oh, I'm going to hear it. So never mind. Everett Reed comes in. He's batting 0 for 2. Way high. What are you doing? Strike one. Fouls this one off. Another foul. Inside for a ball. Fouled away again. Swung early. Struck out. On away. Snack Hogwatch come up. It's 0 for 2. Swung late on that one. Swung late on that one as well. Fouls this off. Up and in. Ball one. Up and in again. Ball two. Chase that one low. Strike three. Special relievers coming in throwing fire. Ricky Ricci's batting 0 for 2 on the day. Blaze that one past. this swung late. Hits this one a short, but this will be out number three. So nothing for the Neon that inning. Bottom of the seventh coming up. Neon are still up by two. Edgar Kerr up to the plate. Batting 0 for 2 in the day. And he takes the fastball for strike one. This change up deep to center. Sloan is at the wall, but this will clear it. There's a home run. I'll get the spot within one run. 390 feet, his first of the year. So they close the gap. And here's Piston Gill, he's 0 for 2. He takes a strike down low. Inside for strike two. And never took the bat off his shoulder. Just watch that one go in for strike three. So Snaros is back to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Takes the high fastball. Strike one. Change up. Low and in. Slider just missed. Fastball missed. Now three and one count. Changeup fouled off. So it's now a full count. Swung at and missed the heater. Strike three. Two down. There's Tyke Gallagher. He's 0 for 2. Low changeup. Spider misses. Fastball is fouled away. And the changeup's fouled off. High fastball. We didn't chase it. Full count. Chased the curve in the dirt, though. There's strike number three. So the spots get one hit. But that hit was a home run. They now sneak back in with the game within one run. They trail two to one going top of the eighth. Second Here's Ribeye. He's 0 for 2. Fouls first pitch off. Takes outside for a ball. Check the swing. That's in there for a strike. Weak grounder to first. They'll take the bag. I mean, take the ball to the bag themselves. He's out number one. Here's Escargo. We're going to yank him for a pinch hitter. I'll bring my overly in for yeah. overly will come in and pinch it. And he fouls the first one off. Swung late. They can't catch the fastball. That 
it's high for a ball. Outside, ball two. Swung early at that time, expecting the fastball. Strike three. With Barajas, backstop of the order. He's one for three. High heater up top, ball one. Another fastball outside. This one's popped up to center. Or left center, I should say, but center field is going to love it. Out number three. So the Neon go down in order again, but they still lead two to one. Going to the bottom of the eighth. And who's going to pitch? Lawson pitched last game. I guess they'll bring. Yeah, Port Matthews to come in to pitch. We'll try to hold them at one run. So the closer come in in the ninth. There's Keegan. He's one for two with a double. He swings over the fastball. Strike one. Fouls off the slider. Hits this one to the left center. This one's going to drop. So lead off single. And this is not what the Neon need right now. Where Suarez is 0 for 2. And she's 0 for 2. And they're going to pull her out. And Maxton De La Cruz is going to come in, batting 167. And they have a ton of speed at first base. Fastball's in there for a strike. Throw to first. Dives back in. Trying to steal. And he'll get in there, no problem. Stolen base. So he's down in scoring position. May try to steal third. There he goes. And he'll take that with no problem either. So tying runs 90 feet away. And he's going to get it in. Diving stop, but it doesn't matter. Deep enough to score the run. This game's tied to a piece. So he did his job. And here's Hattie Yang. 0 for 2. The book is closed on Escargo. He has no chance for a win now. First pitch in there for a strike. This one's hit the deep to left center. Sloan should catch this one though. And he's on the one track. He'll glove it. He's out number 2. And here's their relief pitcher. He's probably going to get pulled. No, they're going to leave him in. And he swings at the first pitch and misses it. Fouls off the second one. And he hits one to right. Reed's there. He throws it. That'll do it for the inning. But the spots come clawing back. They score another run. It's now a tie game going on top of the ninth. Two apiece. Here's Spencer Roach, he's one for three. So the right fielder gets pulled. They're going to put a... What? They're going to put... No. What? Oh, he was out of position. Okay, never mind. He was, the right fielder was playing first. Okay, so they're going to put Joey Hansen back there at first. Let's see what they did. Throw me off for a second. Swung early. That one. In the dirt, should have let that go. Grounder to short. That'll be an easy out. So one down. Here's Dapper 0 for 3. Driven in one of the neon runs. Takes the ball low. In there for a strike. Fouls this back. Pops this up. Shortstop's going to have another play. And there's out number two. And here's Sloan. Let's see if he has some heroics here to get him back on top. He's got one home run. Swung at and missed. Late on that one. Pops this one up to right. And right field is going to call for it. And there's out number three. So the Neon go down in order. Bottom of the ninth coming up. Scores tied, so spots only need one run to win it here. And there's Richards, he's one for three. Takes down low for a strike. Takes up high, strike two. That'll just miss. It's this one. Dice diving catch by Hogwash short. That had a hit written all over that one. It's a great defensive play. Keeps the Neon in here. 
Base is still empty. One away. And first pitch here. Nice diving stop from Red Eye. Back to back diving stops. <laughs> Piston Gill comes up. Quickly two away. Two great defensive plays. Swings at the first pitch way ahead of it. Strike one. Takes outside for a ball. And another one outside for a ball. Takes the fastball in there. Strike two. Swung and missed the changeup. Strike three, and that'll do it. So, extra baseball for everybody in attendance. Top of the tenth coming up. Two to two game. Two hits apiece, four runs apiece. I mean, other way around. Two runs apiece, four hits apiece. Reed steps up to the plate. Takes the first pitch for a ball. Second one's up high for a ball. Outside, ball three. Takes a strike there. Ooh, swung early on that one. Outside, ball four. Leadoff man on base. Hogwash is over three so far today. And they're going to replace, replace their pitcher. Cannon Brooks coming in to pitch, 422 ERA. He's only struck out seven so far. First pitch is up high for a ball. Ooh, just got ahead of that one. Foul to the right. Smoked that one. Misses that one. Strike two. Swung under it. Missed. Strike three. Hogwash is out. Here's Ricci. He's over three. Takes outside for ball one. Little looper to third, just over the head. Lands foul. Down low, ball two. Hard hit to second. And couldn't get back in time. That's a double play. Bad luck there. So they got a hit, but doubled off. So bottom of the tenth coming up. Two apiece. Who's going to come across and with the winner? Cisneros comes in. He doesn't have a hit yet. He'll take low for a ball. Inside for another ball. Fastball cuts it down low for a strike. Slider fouled off. Change up in there. Strike three. And there's Gallagher. He's 0 for three. Check the swing, but changeup's in there. Strike one. It's this one to the left. That's a drop for a hit. So one out single. And Spots are trying to get something going. Keegan Merritt's up. He's got a single and a double. A lot of speed again at first. This one's hit to the right out of play. Strike one. This one's hit the center. This is going to drop. And gets past Sloan. Oh, no. That could do it. That's going to be the game winner. That'll do it. <sighs> that triple look like possible triple. Spots win it. Bottom of the 10th. Close game all throughout. In the end, got the early lead, but they just couldn't hang on to it. Top, uh, top better for the Neon, but it's going to be slow and easily. Got the big home run that got the game started, with, but like I said, they just couldn't hold on to it. I mean, it's best hitter for the spots was Kerr. Is he the one to drive it in? We're going to give it to Merritt, though. I believe Merritt's the one that got it three for four. He drove in an RBI. So Matthews gets the, picks up the loss here. Went two and a third. Gave it three hits, two runs. Struck out two. He's now three and four on the year. And Brooks will pick up the win for the spots. But only went one inning, struck out one. That's his first win of the year. So, heartbreaker for the Neon here. Keegan Merritt, number one star. Yep, three for four. They did give him a triple. So, single, a double, and a triple. And stole two bases. Ugh. He's just a 
He pretty much accounted for almost all the offense for them today. Escargot got the number two, seven innings, three hits, gave up only one run. Struck out eight. And Kerr got the number three, one for four with the homer. So the winning streak's over for the Neon. I think they won four straight before that happened. So now I gotta try to turn this around, get back on the winning side. But first, we got nine more games. So let's simulate these. Underworld and Lucky Breaks, this is a good game here, you would think. The Lucky Breaks hang on to win to beat the Underworld, so that helps the Neon. Elephants defeat the Outlaws in a close game, 2-1. to one. Super Sneaks get an early lead, they hang on, 8-1. to one. Against the Bards, the Riddles, and the Boulders. A little back and forth all throughout the whole game. 4-3, to three, one run game there. Energetics lose to the Advocates, 2-1. to one. Tundras and Riddles, another close game. Back and forth, extra innings, Riddles win that one. Ancients and the Freedom. The Ancients just tack on runs over and over and over. Easy win there. 12-0. The Underworld again. Losing the Guardians. Look at this. Underworld. Oh, they clumb back. Oh, they lose again. Underworld have lost another one. Bottom Roses and Water Bullets. The two water teams. Bottom Roses triumph on that one. 9-5. to five. So that's the Underworld. That's some upsets there. So with those two losses, that drops them a half game behind the Neon now. Lucky Breaks with their win. They're still five up. Efficates are three up over the Bandits in their division. Water Bullets and Bottle Noses, the two water teams, went at it there. The Bottle Noses won it. But the Bulls have an easy four and a half game lead. Spots with their win have increased their lead. Take that back. The Guardians won theirs also. That's right. So still only a one game lead there. The Philosophers are up by five and a half in theirs. So a lot of close races going on. And here's a big game here. The Lucky Breaks coming and face the Neon at home. Lucky Breaks are 25 and 12. Neon are 23 and 13. Damon Rasmussen is going to pitch for the Lucky Breaks 1 and 2 record with a 289 ERA. Drummond's back on the mound for the Neon with a 4 and 1 record, 249 ERA. Haven't they played before? I believe they've played these two teams before. Let's see. Schedule? I think it was somewhat recently. Maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Neon beat him 3-2. to two. Smythe got the win. So we got a one nothing advantage. So, summary. Whoop, that's not what I need. I need this. Scroll down. Okay, what we got? Some more, a lot of free agent things going on. Savannah Rasmussen is dropped by the Bandits. So they're going to pick up Jennifer Lester. So they dropped a B- and picked up a C. That's st both starting pitchers. But it's nothing we weren't interested in there. Uh, training for Sloan. Two power, two contact. A chance for bonus power, a chance for bonus contact. We'd love to take this one. We don't have the money for it yet, but it's, we're, after next game, we might just have enough. We might jump on this one. Anything to help Sloan out. I mean, he is the team captain. Then we got the Advocates, who decided to dump Luca all day. That's a starter. I remember that name offhand. And they picked up Riley Keatley, a reliever. Dropped the starter, picked up a reliever. Interesting. And the Spider Bears, Yves Splits has been dumped from them, and Furtive Waller has been picked up. So they dropped an A-minus player, who was a first baseman and third baseman. And they picked up a way less <laughs> talented first baseman. They won 11.9 million, but... Oof. That's a good player on the market. Nobody we're really interested in. It's another first baseman. We don't need one. The Ancients, they dropped Drill Medina, a catcher, and they picked up another catcher, Escrow Shields. So they dropped a B catcher and grabbed a C minus. So a lot of high ranked players are starting to get added to the market here. And Africa's made another change. They dropped a reliever. Lennox Holt picked up Lance Steele, who's another reliever. Dropped a C plus, picked up a C minus. Oof. Some of these decisions don't make much sense to me. Just looking at the stats, look at this player they dropped. The Advocates again. Killer Fitzpatrick was no, was signed this time. Enzo Pugh is dropped. So they picked up a center fielder, first baseman slash outfielder, and dropped their first baseman left fielder. Not bad. That's a good pickup there. 
took that back. I was relieved. Yeah, they dropped the B plus. Grab the seed. It's just the wording of the. Yeah, the wording of the headline there just threw his, throws me off a little bit. Makes it sound like the player on the left was signed. And we got training for oh, our closer up top. Plus velocity, plus power, negative accuracy. We really don't need anything for him. We might have a workhorse treat, but for the most part, nothing really there. And with all these new free agents hitting the market, we got a lot of good players starting to hit. We're still looking at Avenue. Our salary demand has dropped two million since the last game. So she might be getting within range here soon. Enzo Pugh is a good center fielder. I mean, he, I mean, he's not as well. Let's say he's not as good as Sloan, but he's got some good stats. Sloan's got better contact. But can't complain. These are good players. Whoever decides to pick him up, Waller would be a good first baseman too. Third base is arms not terrible. I mean, there's some good players out here. We might. Start looking in some of these here soon. I do need a good, better catcher, but I'm just, uh, I don't know. 17 million, I'm not going to throw at a catcher, but that's pretty good stats for a catcher. You expect them not to run. He's got a good arm and everything. That's a good one. Compared to Remington Cooper, even Remington's a decent catcher. I don't know, we're going to start making some free agent decisions here before long. There's, a lot of good players hitting the market. But first, we got another game against the Lucky Breaks coming up. And we'll see you back here next time. We got the ace for the Neon on the mound. I don't know if Damon's their ace or not. But 289 ERA is nothing really.